Hi, I'm Sherry. Welcome to Macro Magic. Today we're going to make shiitake mushroom tea. Now, shiitake mushrooms um, come dried or fresh. The fresh ones are not so medicinal as the dried ones. And these are what's called donku, D-O-N-K-O, uh, shiitake mushrooms. The cap actually curves inward. That makes it very, very strong and healing to the body. So we're going to soak, we've soaked one shiitake mushroom in some water and then we're actually going to cut it up and you can include the stem as well. Usually when we eat them we take the stem out because it's hard and woody. Um, shiitake mushrooms have a wonderful taste and smell to them and they actually help break down uh, old animal food in the body. So if you're suffering from a fever, sometimes shiitake mushroom tea can help even uh, if children are suffering from a fever, they can have it as well. So we put in one cup of spring water and our shiitake mushroom, which has been soaked, uh, including the stem. And you can put the, the soaking water in there as well. And you bring it to a boil, covered, and we're just going to cook it for about five minutes. Now when you soak your shiitake mushroom, you want to soak it for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes. They are hard and they're hard to cut, so you want to soak it until it, they're soft and malleable and you can slice them. Shiitake mushrooms help the liver function. Uh, mushrooms in general ha carry a lot of water, they grow at night. They don't have a lot of vitamins and minerals in them, but when you dry them, uh, when you dry shiitakes, they're very much more mineralized and strengthening to the body. So after we cook our tea for about four or five minutes, we're going to add a couple drops of uh, shoyu soy sauce for flavor. Now if I wanted to make a noodle broth called dashi from the same recipe, so what they make in Japanese restaurants, I would just add a strip of kombu seaweed and that makes uh, a delicious broth that you can pour over noodles. But today we're just simply making the tea. So after five minutes, four to five minutes of simmering, um, you, you'll just turn the flame down, cook it for about ten more minutes until the flavor of the shiitake is all in the broth. And then with this tea, you can actually drink it and also eat the mushrooms. They're very delicious. This is a very relaxing tea. Oftentimes when we eat a lot of potato chips or uh, salty pretzels, um, we feel very tense, we can't relax. This is a very relaxing tea to have um, sometimes if you can't sleep at night and if you feel that your kidneys are too tight from too much salt, you can make this tea. So this is our shiitake tea. Thanks for joining us. Hope to see you next time. Uh, and make sure to check out our recipes at www.teawithsherry.com.